Hello everyone and welcome to the Alberta Institute for Wildlife Conservation. My name is Katrina Terrell and I'm the Community Engagement Manager here at AIWC. We're a non-profit wildlife rehabilitation centre located just outside of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of our wildlife hospital. So you're going to get to see some of the patients we have currently in care, our staff who are working hard to make sure those animals are taken care of, and also learn a little bit more about how wildlife rehabilitation centers like ours operate. If you do have any questions after watching the video, feel free to just pop those into the comments, or you can also email me directly at education at AIWC.ca. All right, let's get started, shall we? The first stop on our tour today is our clinic building, which is where our critical care patients are kept. Critical care patients may have head injuries, broken limbs, or may be recovering from surgery meaning that we need to keep their environment as stable and relaxing as possible. Each room in the clinic is specialized for different animals so that we don't house predator and prey animals close together. Here in our reception room is where all patient records are stored and how we keep track of daily animal care. Each board lists the species we care for, along with their patient number, dietary needs, and any special care that the staff and volunteers should be aware of. You might notice that there are no names written on the board, and that's because we don't actually name animals here at AIWC. This is for a few reasons, but mainly because these are wild animals. And since they won't be staying with humans forever, they don't need human names for us to call them by. Not naming the animals also helps us to remember that these animals are patients, not pets, and prevents us from accidentally becoming too friendly with the animals, which can cause serious problems for them when they return to the wild. Animals who become too friendly with people are known as habituated and often end up becoming injured because they stay too close to human areas, which means higher risks of being hit by cars, flying into windows, or being hurt by people's pets. As a certified veterinary facility, AIWC can administer more advanced treatments, including medications, prescriptions, stitches, and all the way up to surgery and x-rays, which are performed on site. After arriving at AIWC, all of our patients are given a thorough examination by our wildlife rehabilitation technicians. Their treatment is then decided on, which could include simply watching to see if they recover, or more advanced treatments, including blood samples, fecal samples, and checking bandages. The clinic building is also home to one of the most important areas here at AIWC, the kitchen. All of the animals' food is prepared here and made and served according to the guidelines in our nutrition manual. This book took years of research to put together and illustrates the ideal recipes, supplements, and even the kinds of dishes to be used for each species of animal. Laundry is also a fact of life for all wildlife rehabilitation centers, and AIWC is no exception. During the busy summer months, our washing machines and dryers are kept in constant use in fact, we may do up to 30 loads of laundry in a single day. Once an animal no longer needs to stay inside, we will move them to one of the many outdoor enclosures present on our property. Moving the animal outside before release helps them to get used to changing temperatures outside again, and the large enclosures give them space to move around and gain strength before they are released back into the wild. We have multiple enclosures designed for different species of animals, including flight pens, outdoor pools, and large corrals for animals like deer fawns and moose calves. One of our newer, specialized buildings on site is the Aquatic Bird Building, which is designed to house water birds such as ducks, geese, loons, grebes, and even pelicans. These pools are kept in top condition and are absolutely necessary when caring for aquatic birds. In fact, some water birds, like this grebe, cannot spend very much time on land at all. If you see a loon or a grebe stuck on land, it's best to call your local wildlife rehabilitation center as soon as possible so that they can arrange for the animal to come into care. Thank you so much everyone for joining us on our tour of the facility today. I hope you had fun learning a little bit more about what is happening here at the Alberta Institute for Wildlife Conservation and that you've hopefully been inspired to help look after some of your own local wild animals. If you do feel inspired to also help us take care of some patients, please do consider donating on our website at www.aiwc.ca. Thanks everyone, see you later!